Thank you all so much for being here. Before us here, this, this is my team. I mean, unfortunately, Carol wasn't able to, to make it. Councilman Marsh, Councilman Bala had to leave. But this team, this team, including Michael Lenz, as the, as the fifth vote, this team is so, so important to moving our city forward. We've made incredible change over the last year. More change than has been made, you know, I dare say, over the last 10 years. We're dealing with, with problems and issues and, and, you know, mismanagement that has gone on for years and years and years. And we are together, we are addressing it. We are taking on, making sure that we get those budgets passed, making sure that we're looking at personnel issues and being as cost effective as possible while also making sure that our streets are safe. You know, and I, I've worked very closely with Police Chief Falco to make sure that, that our streets are going to be safe, that we have more police officers out on the street. And I couldn't have done all of that without this council backing me up, backing me up every day, working very closely with me as we, you know, we put in new directors and, and, and made the changes that we really need. You know, and, and we're working hard on the issues impacting the fourth ward. We're working hard on the flooding issue. And, and in the short term, I've made sure to, we always try and put out notices to the community. We try and provide free parking. That was an initiative that I started as a fourth ward council person and have continued with the support of this, this council. We make sure to clean up those streets after the flooding does happen. We're working with North Hudson Sewage to move forward that pump. We worked with them to design the outside of the pump so that we make sure that, that it goes in as, as quickly as possible. Their votes made sure that we got this MNET technology. We are in the process of getting those sensors put in so that we can fu more fully analyze the total problem and make sure that we solve it, not just part of it. I mean, that pump is really going to help. We expect it to be in in the spring, but we're going to need to keep pushing for a full solution to that problem. And with the support of this council, that is how I'm going to get it done. We're working hard on, on bringing, again, I know taxes are a major concern, and I can only continue moving forward if I have the vote and the support on the council. And that means having Mike Lenz on the council, where, again, it goes back to addressing personnel costs. And I cannot do that without having the support. And we are, in, we are moving towards, towards doing that. Another issue that, that people in the fourth ward and citywide are concerned about is overdevelopment. We are bringing a balanced development. You know, you look at the New Jersey Transit Project, the pressure is immense. They still want to move forward with their huge plans. They still want to have 45 story buildings starting from Jefferson Street all the way down Observer Highway. I've got a plan that I put on the table, an interlocal agreement. I'm pushing hard. I spoke to Governor Christie when he was in town about it. I am pushing hard for that to be signed so that we can protect our community. We can bring balanced development so that we're not overwhelmed by the development that, that they want to do. And only, only by having a team of five or more, which we hope to get an even bigger team in the spring and May, um, but, but only by having that team can I make sure to bring that balanced development. We are moving with doing the study of the Southwest. We are working to, to make sure that we bring that balanced development in the Southwest, that we bring that park. All of these things are happening. They're happening right now so that not only have we achieved so much change, but we on the, are on the verge of achieving so much more change. There is so much at stake, so I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for everyone that's standing here today, and I cannot thank you all enough for being here, but I ask you, please spread the word to your neighbors, to your friends. I'm so happy to see so many seniors here with us today. We're working hard to bring the services that the seniors need, the senior bus and more public um, transportation. Please, please spread the word, volunteer, get out there, help us to campaign. You know, I, the, the forces that, that were against me in the last six elections are coming together again. The developers are doing what they do to, to get around and give money to Tim Acapente. I know it's happening. I've seen it happen. There's political bosses outside of Hoboken trying to get involved in the fourth ward election, trying to have influence. And instead of saying, oh, no, we can't do it, what we have to say is we're going to dig deep. We're going to make this happen. We're going to get out on the street, and nobody is going to come in here and tell us what to do with our town. So yes, the next month is going to be incredibly hard, but I'm going to be out there campaigning 
in the mornings with Mike. I'm going to be out there campaigning in the evenings with Mike. I'm going to be at the meet and greets. I'm going to be working as hard as I can because that's what I've done in every single election. I never knew. In the last six elections, I never knew whether I was going to win or not. But I knew I was going to try my hardest. And that's what I'm going to do for Mike Lenz. I know that's what this team is going to do for Mike Lenz. And that's what I ask all of you to do for Mike Lenz. Because this isn't about Mike Lenz. This is about you. This is about our town, our neighborhood in the fourth ward, our city. And we need to all come together to protect our city, to lower those taxes, to improve our quality of life, to, to make this the town that we want it to be, to make sure that we have balanced development. All of those things are so important to all of us. So I can't thank you enough for being here. And I ask you to clear your schedule. I know you're all very busy, but Figure out a way to squeeze in, getting out and campaigning, because it really is, once you break through, it's very fun to get out and talk about the issues and make sure people understand the stakes, that they understand that, yes, change is, is hard. Change is hard work. Maybe it's not happening quite as fast as you want it to. But if you don't support Mike Lenz, then you're going to end up going back. We're going to be going back in time, because I can tell you, the people that supported Peter Camerano are all coming around Tim Alcapente, and all they want to do is take us back. We need to decide right here, right now, that we will not let them take us back, that we're going to win this election on November 2nd. So thank you all, and sign up for the